Time now for the skinny and topping our Tuesday morning entertainment headlines. Those hometown dates for The Bachelorette. Andy traveled home with her final four guys to get a feel for which place and man felt more like home. She met Nick's big family in Waukesha, Wisconsin, all 17 of them, and even bought mom to tears. Oh, and in Arlington, Iowa, Andy got behind the wheel of Chris's really big green tractor. So, Dave, what do you think? Does farm life agree with her? Mm, maybe. <laughs> I like those pink shorts. Uh, and then it was a jaunt down to Tampa to visit Josh's family in an afternoon of baseball on Josh's childhood field. And finally to Dallas with Marcus and Andy confessing life with Marcus would be a fairy tale. But That's in nice. the end, she gives him the heave ho. Now it's down to Josh, Chris, and Nick. Three guys looking for Andy's love. Good luck. Next up. The material girl causing a commotion in a Manhattan courthouse. I don't think she's saying, but Madonna did do her patriotic duty, Instagramming, quote, serving my country, reporting to jury selection. Hashtag, it's hot in here. And she did get a bit of special treatment, too, being allowed to come in an hour later than most jurors. Her entourage, they were shuttled through a special entrance and no lines, and they even had a private waiting area. The court, though, decided that the material girl should be on jury duty. It would be more of an distraction than a help. So she was released just an hour and a half what? later. Yeah. She told that she wouldn't have to serve again for another six years. Can you believe it? Must be nice. I would have loved to have seen her serve on a trial of some sort. Mm -hmm. but she would have right. been the foreman. It would have been, uh, yeah, the foreman. That would have been great. <laughs> Madonna, let me take a poll, guys. Is guilty or not? <laughs> oh, boy. Well, another singer making some headlines this morning. And it, Taylor Swift. Yeah, she's writing an op-ed piece in today's edition of the Wall Street Journal. Swift penned a plea for the future of the music business, asking that people see that music is art, important and rare, and that music should not be free. Swift also says that while some things never change, like public fascination with the private lives of singers, it's definitely a different world today. She says she hasn't been asked for an autograph since the invention of the iPhone. It seems kids these days only want a selfie. That makes sense, yeah. I I That's never, more valuable. I never thought of that. You know, do you remember, did you ever have it? I never had an autograph book, but like the Brady Bunch. <laughs> no, I never had it. No. I think Marsha or Jan or Cindy, one of them on the Brady Bunch had an autograph book. And I always oh, thought wow. that would be great. But in my hometown of Tampa, there weren't a lot of like celebrities except for Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, never, yeah, he's very famous. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, speaking of uh, kids today, what in the world is going on with Justin Bieber and Tom Hanks? The two partied down over the weekend at a wedding for Bieber's manager. With the Beebs Instagramming this video you see right there, thanks for booging down. And then Tom Hanks was dressed like a rabbi. Yeah, apparently that's uh, how they do it.